First Lieutenant Stephen Hunter. So the training's really cool. They have these uh, big, huge robots, sort of like Skynet from Terminator. So you can actually program scenarios into the robots where you could do like a hostage scenario where one of them in the middle is a hostage and you have to shoot the ones around them and they'll bum rush if that one gets shot. So they're all talking to each other. They're really cool because it puts a lot more of the, here's how hard it is when a target's actually moving into it. They were just kind of moving around, so you have to make sure. You think you need to lead them, but then you don't because you remember how, fa how fast bullets are. So you got to remember to breathe, and it's a whole different discipline than when you're sitting there taking nice controlled breaths and doing it. You're, you're like, okay, i got to remember to breathe, got to remember I'm moving. So, But most of the old guys have had some kind of experience being shot at, being in firefights. And with the way AFSOC EOD is going, we're hoping to be involved in, a, in more of those kind of forward action type missions anyways. With that being the case, we're going to need these to hone these skills so that they don't have to worry about you and they can take care of their mission, you can take care of your mission. It needs to be second nature so that you don't have to worry about learning that while you're worrying about doing your job in a new scenario. Um, as many things as can be second nature should be second nature.